So today I want to talk to you about women's health care and why it is that I have to go to Cali and why I can't access care here. Um, when I talk about broken pussy, um, broken pussy is the easiest way for someone to understand what bladder prolapse is. Okay, um, I didn't break myself. I didn't do stupid things. I didn't screw around with a whole bunch of people. I didn't make, you know, crazy shit happen in my life. I got sick. I had a series of uh, benign cysts that were in my uterus. And because I could not access care in 2006, when it first happened, when it was first found out, um, over the next three years, it ripped my bladder loose, my uterus loose, and, uh, and created what's called total pelvic prolapse. So in 2009, when I finally was able to find a surgeon in Georgia um, because I wanted to be close to home, which was a mistake, but because I finally found someone that I thought, you know, a surgeon's a surgeon, they're going to do their job. This guy, uh, when he took out my uterus, he cut a bunch of muscles and he, while I was, while they were uh, um, discontinuing or, you know, um, disallowing the use of vaginal mesh. He put it in me. So basically, you know, when it was being discontinued as a medical solution, it was put in my body. And I didn't know. Um, I had no idea. And then it failed immediately because it was not put in correctly and he had cut other muscles. You know, because radical surgeons who have these weird preconceptions of women's reality um, are out there in the world. And so that happened. And then I moved here to Las Vegas and I tried to get care here then. Um, and I found out that it doesn't exist. Not, not urogyno, not anything like that. And so they denied here. They put me on a, a uh, folly catheter for seven months. I actually did a show, the Wonder Man Woman show with uh, uh, Robin Selena um, back in 2000, I want to say it was 2013. I did that show with a folly catheter when I was on my walker, if any of you remember. Um, and that was just before I ended up in LA the last time for surgery. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to add a little bit more to that statement. Um, you know, I have two things going on. I have whatever's going on with my breathing and my, you know, upper thing. And then I have that. And if I have to travel to L.A. for that, I'm going to get to all of my care over there. Because there, I won't go through what Rusty and I went through in Georgia. Um, oh, by the way, I did forget to say, um, when they took the mesh out in 2013, they used a organic product, um, to put my bladder back in and it, it only has a five to seven, typically five to seven year, uh, longevity. Um, it's a tendon from either a sheep or a rabbit. Um, I can't remember. I believe I have a sheep, but I can't remember. Um, but I made it 10 years because I don't do stupid things because I take care of my body because I recognize that I do have this problem and 
I do everything in my power to make sure I'm okay. Um, the doctor that I see believes in women's rights and she has worked very, very hard with the university system in California to train doctors to take care of women like me who've been through absolute hell. Um, one thing that I will do uh, when I ever get through this and find, you know, solutions or come into something, you know, where I, I have disposable income and can support people, I'm going to be helping my doctor to help other women not have to face this because it's a really crappy place to be in. And, uh, but that's what broken pussy is, just so you guys know. Um, there are two sides of the abortion denial, uh, from a healthcare perspective. The first side is the denial of actual medical care, uh, for abortions and for women who need them. The secondary side of it is women like me who speak out, um, and women who've had abortions being denied access to ongoing health care throughout the rest of our lives. And that is what I'm facing. That is the core. It is the bottom line of it. And it is what I am working in every way that I can possibly figure out to talk about it and to stop it. Because women deserve health care. Women deserve human rights. Women deserve our rights. Period. Have a great day. I love you guys.